now with the weather in Wilmington. There's a cold front coming later this week, so expect temperatures in the 40s. There may also be light precipitation this weekend. Nice weather today, huh? Yeah, but there's supposed to be a cold front coming in. which was what the money was before, as well as marketing, so I can do it on, on other platforms of social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so that I can really make this thing, you know, skyrocket. So it's like a Tinder, but for DJs. Instead of a date, it matches you with a DJ. I'm gonna call it DJ Swipe. I got patent pending as well on it. What do you think? And you need $16,000 for this. 16 big ones, yes. Okay. I'm just gonna run this up the ladder and we'll contact you when we made a decision. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I really hope you guys swipe right on giving me this loan because I think it's gonna be a big hit. I'll see you later, yeah? Take a seat. Good luck, Dan. We're rooting for you. Dan, I've been waiting a long time for you. I don't think he's been through orientation. What? This has been scheduled for a decade. Dan, have you gone through orientation? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. This must be so hectic for you, huh? I just want to know what's going on. Dan, there's no easy way of telling you this, but you're dead. What? I think it might just be easier to show you. What? What is this? That's you. At 12.32 p.m. today, you had a major coronary event. The paramedics came to the wrong floor at your building, and by the time they got to you, it was too late. And this is the afterlife? Not quite. It's more like a waiting room. There seems to be more deaths scheduled this month than supposed to be. Idiots. So, we have to send some of you back, but we can't send all of you back because, you know, there's politics and stuff, and we can't have people coming back from the dead all the time, so we choose. So, Dan, tell me about yourself. Well, I'm the loan admin at the bank, which you already know. I've been there about five years, and... You were born in Delaware, right? Right. Continue. I don't know what to say. It's hard to summarize yourself. I don't want you to say anything. I just want you to tell us a little bit about yourself. You started off with your job. Why is that? I don't know. Do you like your job? It's okay, I guess. It's got some benefits. My boss is all right, so. I see here that you wanted to be an astronaut when you were a kid. Yeah, I did. So why not pursue that? Most people don't do what they said they wanted to as a kid. Plenty of people do. Well, I guess I grew out of it. I don't really want to be an astronaut anymore. But do you want to be a banker? No, I guess not. But it's complicated. How so? Sometimes there's things that you need to do and some things that you want to do and I guess you just have to choose. Dan, why do you think you should go back? I think I deserve to go back. I'm a good person. I've never tried to hurt anyone. I'm good at my job. People like me, and I don't think anyone hates me. You see, Dan, you're a tough case. 
We think you got potential, and like you said, we think that you're a good person most of the time. It's just... You don't really do anything. What do you mean? With your life, you don't do anything. What do you really want to do with your life? I always thought that when my time came, I'd have something to show for it all. That I'd leave something or someone behind. I'd have a family. I would have found my purpose. I want to feel real love. So, if you did get to go back? I'd be different. I'd be different. Thanks, Dan. We're gonna run this up the ladder, and we'll let you know our decision. Yeah.